Brescia University College is Canada's only all-women's university, and it happens to be founded by sisters who rose to the occasion, a group of women truly ahead of their time. We went to London, Ontario to discover this unique university designed for women by women. Brescia University enjoyed its centennial in 2019, so we're over a hundred years old. And Brescia was founded by the Ursuline sisters. We're part of the Western family, which means that Brescia students have a university degree from Western, but we're very intentional in building a community here where women can thrive. The Ursuline sisters were a, a communion of sisters. These were women who did not want to get married, and these were women who did not want to be part of monasteries. They wanted very much to put themselves into community, to serve community with all of those Catholic principles and a charism of wisdom, justice, and compassion always guiding them. At the time that universities were starting to grow in Ontario, there was nothing available for women. When it was beginning in London, Bishop Fallon had a vision that women should also be included in the new project for education. And so knowing that the Ursulines were just down the street uh, doing education in Chatham and, and around the diocese, um, he reached out to us to say, would we accept you know, this, this new ministry? And so that's really how it began. The Ursuline Charism is really rooted in the vision of St. Angela Marici and of course the women that she began the community with because they lived in a time where women had limited opportunities and so it was like how can we create the spaces that women need to grow and develop to learn, to be educated, to be fully contributing citizens. And so the Ursuline family developed many different responses and many different ministries. And, and to me, Brescia is absolutely like a living manifestation of that charism because Brescia is all about creating spaces, creating circles, starting projects where women will come into the fullness of their potential. Ursuline Sisters have been faculty here. Ursuline Sisters have been presidents. In terms of other places on campus where one would see the sisters, well, this building that we're in is Ursuline Hall. St. James honors Mother St. James. We have spaces that are um, not named, but carry beautiful icons of our Catholic identity. You know, we were the founders, and there's a wonderful group of people that now carry on the vision, but the vision and the mission is still close to our hearts. We really inspire all of that sense of community, diversity, and also belonging. What we would hope is that every single student has a strong sense of who they are and of their gift to the world, that they are special, that they are unique, and that they have a place where they can continue to be learning, be curious about life. I chose Brescia because I had a big interest in developing my leadership skills, especially as a woman. And also because I had this interest in having a career about helping solve the social issues in our world. My favorite part about going to Brescia is 
just seeing all the women flourish. Uh, when you see one person do well and another person do well, it's like a lighter, airy feel to it, and everyone just wants to do the best and be the best for everyone around them. What I hope for Brescia is that Brescia continues to be a place that overturns the elements in our society that create the glass ceiling for women. My hopes for Brescia are the collective hopes for Brescia, that uh, we are without limits <laughs> and that we continue to see our uh, place as a place for women to uh, be educated and to serve the world in extraordinary ways.